actually, first time in a long time, this is going to be a wrestling, this is going to be another wrestling vid. I'm just going to be covering a few things. I'm going to be covering TNA today, since you TNA fans have been telling me that you want me to cover some things that are going on in TNA because you want to know. So I'm going to tell you, but I'm, I'm going to tell you all the news about TNA. Hasn't been the best news about that wrestling show. I just wanted to tell you, okay. I told you in my TNA rant that the problem with the wrestling, with that wrestling organization is that they do not push their young talent. They push WWE superstars over that young talent. Now, there have been a list of ECW people that want to leave EC that want to. There have been a list of TNA people that want to leave, leave TNA because of those reasons. Those people are people like Homicide, Hernandez, Sanjay Dutt. Chris Sabin, Alex Shelley, and Ron Killings, all of which are great talent that TNA has, yet is refused to truly push at this time. They're basically for fillers. I don't know what the heck they're doing with Sanjay Dutt, or Chris Sabin, or Alex Shelley, or Homicide or Hernandez. Seems like LAX is just like a filler group now, like... On, on special occasions do they bring them out and stuff like that that's just basically what's happening with TNA right now you got a lot of people that want to quit they got a lot of people that want to quit TNA and you know you spend all that money on someone like Andrew Test Martin you only use them like for what two weeks and that was it so you know I really don't know what to, what, what to tell you about that and there's not much really else going on with TNA but in the WWE, there is huge news, and I will tell you about some of that huge news right now. As many of you have seen, there have been a, there's been a video going around lately um, with the save us the save us like that two 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 thing or something like that, and a lot of people think it's like this cryptic message that plays every now and then on WWE programming, and a lot of people think this promo is the return of Chris Jericho. There are many, many clues as to leading as to why this can be the return of Chris Jericho. Now, I don't know if a lot of it is wishful thinking, but, you know, I really, really hope that Jericho is returning. Jericho was a very great, he was a very great entertainer and a good wrestler as well. And it's just, you know, it's just amazing to me, really. I really hope that he does come through. There's a lot of clues, you know, like Volume 4, Act 1, the vo is the music of Chris Jericho, and the, a lot of people think that the 222 is eventually going to become Y2J. You know, there's just, it's just a, so many clues that could be leading to this being the return of Jericho. And, you know, I really hope so. I really hope so. That, I really hope so that it is. That it, that it is coming, that he is coming to the WWE. He, they really need him right now. As much as they need the younger talent, they need him. But the problem is, they just need him to go to the right, to the right show. You don't want to stick him on somewhere where he'll only be used for two weeks for a storyline to meet up with the big guy and then down. You need to put him in a place where you're going to use him constantly. Constantly. Uh, oh, and uh, news on Andrew Test Martin has been going on lately. As. The reason that Test and it's, a, it's actually a, an amazing thing because Test was let go of the WWE because he was on steroids when he was trying to be, um, he was trying to supposed to be this monster heel that was gonna face Bobby Lashley, um, and take the title away from him. But you know that person became Big Daddy V because Test uh, kept on testing positive for steroids, and you know he really he didn't want to know. He didn't want to stop, basically. So they let him go. So then TNA picked him up. Same thing happens, but you know what? This is the truth. TNA would not have let him go if the, if the CIA wasn't investigating them for steroids, and that's the truth. Because there is no drug testing in TNA. Only when the CIA comes there is there drug testing in TNA. You know it, and former TNA employees have said it. Alright, now about the returns of the two suspended superstars. Or two, or one that's injured or two suspended. Now, a lot of people have been emailing me asking me about when is Edge coming back and when is John Morrison coming back. John Morrison will be back on ECW next week. Now, the huge question behind this whole situation is will John Morrison take the title off CM Punk? Or will CM Punk remain champion? 
John Morrison was supposed to have a very long reign as ECW champion, so I'm, so we want to know if they're going to continue that or if they're going to keep the shop on CM Punk. If you notice when the ratings went up when CM Punk became the champion because everyone wanted to see it, do you think the ratings would go down with that without uh, Morrison as champion? Well, ratings went down last last week. I don't think CM Punk's the reason for that. I'm sure ratings are going to go up eventually, but you know I think it was just a falter because this is Premier House and stuff was last night. But you know. I just think that more important I just think that more important things are going on right now. So the entire question is just whether or not CM Punk is gonna keep the title or not. And I think ratings could go up or down depending on who has the title. It depends on how WWE plays this angle. They have to play this angle right. This is what's gonna happen. This is how they need this is where WWE you see their story making in progress. They have to play this angle right, otherwise it's not gonna work. Also, you add to you edge heads out there. There's been news and confirmations that Edge will be returning to WWE very soon. They say at earliest he will be back at about no mercy. The latest he will be back is Survivor Series. So look out for Edge on the horizon. I don't know what I don't know if they're going if they've enforced if they decided they were going to enforce his month long ban while he was out with injury or if they're going to do it when he comes back. I don't know. But what I know is that Edge has been that Edge will be returning to WWE television very soon. Uh, aside from that, there's really nothing else to talk about in the wrestling world. Nothing big has happened. It's just this whole questioning on whether this um, this save us point two 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 thing is really about um, is really about Chris Jericho returning. You know, we can only hope. We can only hope. We can really, really only hope. All right, everyone. All right, y'all have a great. All right, y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all later. And bye.